In this video, we'll be seeing a higher order thinking question on the type of relation that is reflexive, symmetric and transitive relation. In the previous video, we had seen a basic question for the same. Let's see a higher order thinking question for the particular type. Let's read out the question together. Let W denote the words in English dictionary and a relation R is given as x comma y which is an ordered pair which belongs to w cross w. You see w cross w means Cartesian product of the word. The words x and y have at least one letter in common. I underline the word at least because this is of much significance for this question. So x and y have at least one letter in common and what do I have to do? I have to check which of these options is correct. I mean there are four options given whether it is reflexive or symmetric or transitive or not reflexive not symmetric that we'll have to see that means one by one we have to check whether it is reflexive symmetric and transitive so let's get going let's get started the solution would be first I have to check whether it is reflexive now let's read out the relation again and let's see whether it is reflexive or not x comma y belongs to w cross w where x and y have at least one letter in common okay at least at least means either one letter or more than one letter can be in common for reflexive relation a set has one element related to itself now if x and y have at least one letter in common i replace y by x do x and x have at least one letter in common do x and x have at least one letter in common yes they do have actually x and x would have all the letters in common because it is the same word so yes they have at least one letter in common and so it is a reflexive relation why because they have all the letters in common that means they have at least one letter in common so yes it is reflexive relation now let's move back to the options and let's see which options can be striked off it says not reflexive but I found out it is reflexive so I can directly strike off option number A because I know that it is already reflexive now these three options have already reflexive so my answer would be either option number B or C or D next step is what next step is to check whether it is symmetric or not and then we'll be checking whether it is transitive or not okay for symmetric what do we need to do if X and Y belong to the relation then do Y and X also belong to the relation that means if X and Y have at least one letter in common do y and x also have at least one letter in common yes definitely if x related to y that means if these words have at least one letter in common you interchange the positions then also they would be having one letter in common since x related to y implies y related to x for this relation so it is also a symmetric relation now i have already seen that it is reflexive it is symmetric let's see which all options can be striked off and do we need to check whether it is transitive or directly we can write the answer so it is symmetric whether this option C says not symmetric so I can strike off option number C now I am left with two options option number B and D so let's check whether this is transitive or not if it is transitive I will have option number D as my answer if it is not transitive I will have option number B as my answer so checking on whether it is transitive or not let's think of with the help of an example X and Y two words having at least one letter in common okay fine let's say we have two words Delhi and Dwarka now these two words have what in common they have a here here but not here so they have D in common this letter is common okay these two are related X and Y are related 
this means x related to y if i say x is delhi and dwarka is my y now let's see another pair y related to z let me write down y related to z so y would be what y would be again dwarka i'll write here dwarka and z would be what z would be another word which has one letter at least common with dwarka let's say i write patna now at least one letter in common two a's here and two a's here yes at least one letter in common these two relations followed now if x related to y y related to z then if it implies that x related to z it is transitive else it is not transitive let's check whether x related to z okay this is x delhi i write again delhi and what is z z is patna so i write here patna now is there any letter common in these no there is no letter common in these that means x is not related to z or i may say that x and z do not belong to r that means it is not a transitive relation hence i know from my solution of the question that yes it is reflexive that yes it is symmetric but it is not transitive so let's see what my answer is it is option number b that means it is reflexive it is symmetric and not transitive so i'll strike off option number d so this was a higher order thinking question on reflexive symmetric and transitive relation